Lazy eye, also known as amblyopia, refers to unilateral or bilateral decrease of vision in one or both eyes caused by abnormal vision development in childhood or infancy. When a patient has amblyopia, the brain focuses on one eye more than the other, virtually ignoring the lazy eye. If that eye is not stimulated properly, the nerve cells responsible for vision do not mature normally. Cause of amblyopia can be any condition that interferes with focusing during early childhood. This can occur from poor alignment of the eyes, an eye being irregularly shaped such that focusing is difficult, one eye being more nearsighted or farsighted than the other, or clouding of the lens of one eye. Amblyopia is characterized by several functional abnormalities in spatial vision, including reductions in visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, functions and vernier acuity, as well as spatial distortion, abnormal spatial interactions, and impaired contour detections. In addition, individuals with amblyopia suffer from binocular abnormalities, such as impaired stereoacuity and abnormal binocular summation. Also, a crowding phenomena is present. People with amblyopia also have problems of binocular visions such as limited stereoscopic depth perception and usually have difficulty seeing the three-dimensional images in hidden stereoscopic displays such as the autostereograms. Amblyopia is diagnosed by identifying the low visual acuity in one or both eyes out of proportion to the structural abnormality of the eye and excluding the other visual disorders as causes for the lowered visual acuity. It can be defined as an interocular difference of two lines or more in acuity. For example, on Snellen's chart, when the eye optics are maximally corrected, Binocular retinal bifringences scanning can be able to identify already in very young children amblyopia that is associated with strabismus, microstrabismus, or reduced fixation accuracy. Treatment of amblyopia, strabismic or anisometropic amblyopia, consists of correcting the optical deficit and often forcing the use of amblyopic eye by the patching good eye or instilling the topical atropine in the good eye or both. Deprivation amblyopia is treated by removing the opacity as soon as possible, followed by patching or panelizing the good eye to encourage the use of the amblyopic eye. Watch the detailed lecture on scaria.com ophthalmology course. That's it, two minutes. See you in the next video.